Well, well, well. Look who we have here. It's the Trolls Freak Jerk Lord. 2001, once again. And I'm gonna do a trailer, I'm gonna do a reaction rant on this atrocity video. Here we go, guys. Right. What up, y'all? Trolls band together, fan talk to one here, and I'm out of work right now. I'm just walking to get my stuff in the other building and all that. And um, here today to rant on the Lego Movie 2, the second part. Oh boy. So, Lego Movie 2, the second part is basically technically. It's about after the events of first Lego movie, and uh, there's this general mayhem coming out, and uh, now the whole Bricksburg turned into Mad Max and all that. And oh, um, God. This is, now Emmett this is goes, and uh, Wildsell goes to the Sistar system yaddy, and all yaddy, that. Yaddy, and, um, and just, um, oh, God, meets, Emmett meets his another more mature version of himself than just, um, and blah, blah. Fuck it. Oh, God. That's how you're surprised. That's what the plot of the movie, you oh, idiot. Now, oh, God, I gotta be honest. I, when I came out of the cinema five years ago, that's right, five years ago when I saw that Lego Movie 2 and game. Yes, guys, I did see the Lego Movie 2 in cinemas back in 2019. I saw the movie by myself. I didn't do going to see that film just I saw. I didn't do it that time along with Ralph Breaks the Internet. I saw that in cinemas by myself. I didn't have the time to do it because when I got to the cinema, my film was, my, I was about to hit my screening. That's the biggest reason why I didn't get to do it. And I was like, you know what, I'll just wait for another time. Yeah, you saw my original review. I remember loving it when I first came out of it. But over the years, I barely thought about this movie, honestly. It really left less of an impact, I gotta say. I haven't seen the Lego movie for four, four years. Office, the last time I watched it was back in No wonder it fell into video. obscurity and all that. And just, um... And yeah, I just, um, oh god. Um, oh, this is gonna be a train oh god, guys. revisiting it, and just, um, and even the first movie, both the first and the second one back to back. Oh god. It's an astonishing difference in quality, I gotta tell ya. I mean, good god. No, I'm not like I this! Mean, like a movie, the. No. I mean, we didn't, and nobody even expected the first movie to be like a great movie and all that. And, um, but it turned out to be one of the biggest surprises in animation history. And just, and yeah, it took me by surprise. I thought this looks stupid and all that, but it turned out to be a great surprise. But the sequel. I oh just really boy. bought the Lego movie. I thought this the sequel was, here was, I was what we anticipated the first Lego like movie to be. I mean, good God. I mean,. Barely yet, not a lot of people talk about this movie. I mean, I'm glad there are some of my users do, st I guess, still love it, but honestly, it barely has an he, impact on me. And just, um, I know. Good God. He doesn't and, like yeah, this movie, I, and that is like the Dragon Critic. We watched in the Leo first Brown. and second Lego movie. He, he also did the same thing like with the uh, Bowfinger. He likes the, he loves the first movie. But, um, but, but I will give this Lego movie too, don't worry. It's nowhere near as awful as Incredibles 2, I'll give that. And certainly not as god awful as. 
Frozen 2. Oh, oh shut oh, up, God, Inside Fantasy yeah. Pervert. Don't worry, that is certainly... Frozen 2 is a fantastic Coincidentally, sequel. that is definitely another... I like it better than Ralph Breaks Senior. How I like it now, Inside Fantasy Pervert 1. Me! Sequel that came no, out in no, no, 2019, like just Fantasy like Lego Movie 2, and um... Yeah, that, that is definitely a lot worse, and don't, don't worry. <laughs> we'll get to that one next, don't worry, guys. Yeah, I'll... Sure. I'll get... I'll find a way to... I've already got some parts of that review done, but... Just so you know, and yeah, it's pretty cool, right? So... Yeah, I just, um, oh god. Now, what's good actually? Because it's, don't worry, I'm not gonna totally dog this movie. It's not total worthless garbage. But, uh, but I will give this. I actually see where the movie is going for, guys. Like, um, yeah, it is dumb with a sibling bond rivalry and all that, but I just, um, I like the message of what it's trying to tell, guys. It's, um, Boo! You watch this bad that like you should a, feel bad. Just, uh, Boo! Just, um, Boo! Embracing sort of a badassery and also Boo. cuteness to, to you and all that. Just uh, embracing a new look and all that. And I think I gotta admit, Wildstyle actually had the most interesting character arc in this movie. I liked her character of um, kind of embracing to the cuteness it kind of relates to me guys i mean at first i i just uh, wasn't so sure about like something like the trolls franchise i just thought it was too baby babyish and all that but excuse me but i embraced uh you know, by really getting into the franchise and all that and now i'm just one of the biggest troll fans on the universe guys so yeah and i will admit i actually like the okay. twist with okay i love the movie but i, I don't just, I thought Crazy that was a really good twist. God, uh, like, uh, just, uh, in the just, movies. Uh, but I will admit, I do hate her helmet. Her that stupid ass helmet, and she talking so menacing like this, and just oh, that. Oh, shut yeah, up! That was you don't like this. Vas, you don't like this. Vas, you don't like this because you're because you're stupid. Yeah, at least because when she's with you. Uh, <laughs> her helmet, helmet, she is pretty cute. And um, I will give this. Uh, there is also a cameo of um. Of a Harley Quinn cameo in this movie, and uh, I will admit that was a great cameo. I know, guys. I'm not, I'm doing, I'm not doing the that. 26. I'm not taking that to extreme. The way I did the voice, I did that for comedy purposes only, guys. Suicide Squad version of Harley Quinn, not that shitty Jenny Slate Harley Quinn from the Lego Batman movie. Yeah, that Jenny Slate Harley Quinn is without a doubt the worst Harley Quinn ever. I'm sorry. No, guys, disagree. I I hate Jenny Slate. She is one of the worst actresses working in Hollywood. Oh uh, come on, Jenny Slate is a great actress. Yeah, and so yes, guys, I do love sorry, Jenny Slate. Uh, so much, but yeah, she's best known as a uh, pony, uh, Tammy Larson from Bob's Burgers, and uh, just, Tony uh, from Star Wars Evil, Gage of the Galaxy movies. I don't yeah. like her as Bellwether. I don't like Bellwether. Oh god. I don't. I, 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 I hate Bellwether from Zootopia. I mean, the animation. I'll give this. It still is pretty great. Uh, yeah, well, like, I, I never like Bellwether to begin I'll with. Say. But everything else. But, good god. But I will say her worst performance she did was oh, Zoe from Shipwreck. It is oh, not a good movie. God. I'm sorry. Fuck now that here's where things go room. wrong with the Lego movie to the second part. Oh boy. I mean, the pacing. I mean, the first Lego movie, yeah, people will complain that it was a little too fast-paced and all that, but at least the first one wasn't boring. This one, oh, God. It was slow and sluggish. The pacing was freaking terrible. And um, while I did love the message, I just, everything else just, does, just could not carry it. I mean, just, um, I didn't give it, I didn't care for any of the characters, like the ice cream guy, the freaking the shape-shifting liquid lego that uh, falls in love with batman and also that chemistry between her Could and batman it, that was piss be. poor i, I didn't give a shit I about that chemistry. Four years, guys. and just um and um and uh and oh god and the soundtrack oh man oh here comes the crazy how could you guys. follow up an awesome soundtrack like everything is awesome how I mean, that, everything is awesome. It's just a classic. But dude, this soundtrack here is just forgettable. Okay, speaking of everything is awesome, I actually had this one stuck in my head after I after I went to go see the first film in cinemas back in 10 years ago. I mean, good God, especially that atrocious. This song's going to get stuck inside, yo. This song's going to get stuck inside, yo. And, oh, God help me. Oh, 
use some white and sign up. You need to use some white, you trophic jerk of all. Um, and, um, and also the villain, which is, of course, another enemy! Oh, God! <laughs> what the line from this across the spider ran? That line was so cringeworthy. He's an awful, horrible villain. I mean, he's just so stupid and all that. I'd even felt the chemistry between him and, uh, Emmett and just uh Okay, oh, I God. didn't His I didn't so explain details about Rex Dangers in my rant. I mean not random, not random, so that's nothing. I didn't explain details of Rex Dangerous in my Lego movie re two review I did five years ago because just, I don't um, want to get yeah, into sport territory. Uh, it's just oh god, it just doesn't make sense. I mean I, I honestly wouldn't mind if the shape shifting liquid uh the I honestly forgot her name. What was her name? May not Mayhem. I just oh god, I I completely forgot who she was. That um, uh, who was Unicorn and all that. I just I'm sorry, but yeah, it would have been yeah, the villain was like setting her up to be like the villain, and that would have been I wouldn't mind that. But God, we'd have to have a shitty twist villain. Hell, even Microwave Society pointed that out. And yeah, check out their re reaction to like a movie too. It was awesome, and uh, in the humor. Oh man, the humor is so babyish and juvenile. Oh I mean, god. good god. I mean, the original Lego movie, that had great jokes. That had classic humor like, uh, honey, where are my pants? Or when uh, <laughs> Lego Batman was like, uh, your car is a baby carriage. I mean, oh yeah, I was dying of laughter when I heard that, when Batman said that, when I saw the Lego movie, I could stop laughing. Yeah, it was pretty dumb, but at least it was funny. At least it was creatively dumb. But uh, here, it's just plain dumb. I mean, the humor is just for toddlers and all that. And uh, and also, and it's especially that hard one. Hello! Oh, God. Back you! Oh, God. Shit about you. That was, he was so annoying as fuck. He's doing the really original like a movie. House, guys. No, it, uh, it, it, uh, it, uh, it took all those good, those tiresome cliches and uh it um nobody cares every cliche and just um and just uh without any yeah. cleverness or mm -hmm. wit to it to make it well executed it's just um oh god i just oh this oh, is so boring man i cannot believe i used to love this movie back five years ago and just um and um but uh Go to the fucking yeah. gym. Even they do another version of uh, Everything is Awesome and all that. And uh, this version is just so corny and just uh, try to be so manipulative and Broadway style and all that. And like a Disney soundtrack. And uh, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, it's just so dumb. Yeah, man, I just, I can't believe I used to... I used to love this when I came out. Can you please stop repeating the same words? You. Yeah, Why do you mean the same words? Same words, you idiot. That video. original Lego movie from 2014. That is the real Lego movie, not this sequel nor those uh, oh dumb spinoffs. So um, although Lego Ninjago movie isn't that bad, honestly. On um, yeah. I'm not a big fan of Lego Ninjago movie to begin with. That film was just boring, and not just that. I found that movie to be kind of mean spirit because people treat. Lloyd like crap because he just because his father is gone with I'm like what the fuck I don't hate that film it was eh, that's what I, that's what I think of it but it was overall meh. yeah well like a movie too get yeah, two middle fingers and just meh. think of watching it oh god oh, oh god oh, what the hell you're on the floor god. imagine your boss see you, you know you're like hey you get up here Wish me luck. He looks like a pedophile he lines out. <laughs> so anyway guys, that's my reaction to Rants on Lego Movie 2's second part by Inside by Inside Rants and Wild Trust Me Jerk Lord. Wow, that rant was so was pretty bad. I mean, I know I think his Incredibles 2 rant was far worse. He took that film way to the extreme. I know, guys, it's not a commentary. I don't do commentaries, it's just... But, anyway, guys, um, now let's get, to, let's get to the recommendation page. Um, I've never seen Wonka, but the, the, um, 
just to let you guys know. The reason why I haven't seen Wonka because it wasn't it's not really a film that I'll go to the cinema and see. It's more a film that I'll watch at home and see on the big screen. And so yeah, I'm gonna end here guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like and share your friends and um and before I go guys, um um off topic stop episode 20 is still gonna happen, but here's the thing. Every time I'm, the day I do closing shifts, um, I um, um, my family always home in the mornings, and I just get I just get so frustrated. If it happens again, I'm I'm unfortunately I have to do off topic on episode twenty outside, like I did in the very first couple of episodes. But I'm gonna try my best to film it because I don't want to get caught by people. So that's gonna be my alternative plan. So until then, guys. We're gonna end it here, guys, and then we'll tell you about what's happening and all that stuff, guys. And um, so yeah, um, Moana Two is happening, and we got Simpsons um, couch gag, and the Shelby's Canada. Hi, right, my friend. How are you? I'll give you something better. And oh, that's from Sing Two Knuckles series and Futurama intro by Mario Paint and the Wonka closing credits, which. I didn't watch this video because I haven't seen the film yet, but I will watch it on Sky Cinema. Sorry, that's the fridge, guys. Okay, hey guys. Bye! Chirp.